What's good, what's good, this is your boy Sully and I'm back again with another video. Before we jump into this, if you guys want to stay updated with me, follow me on Instagram, the gospel according to Sully, the link will be in the description. Also, uh, the holidays just past Thanksgiving, if you celebrate that, I hope you had a great one, and if you didn't, I hope you guys had a great day off, if you did have the day off. Alright, let's jump right into this, I got um, a G-Star video collection. And we're going to go into the first pair. I'm not going to do a detailed review, but I'm going to talk about the brand. And I'll talk about some issues and some positives of the brand. So first things first, I consider G-Star a mid-tier brand. Like, it's not high fashion to me. But I wouldn't consider it, like, really low. It's just mid-tier. It's just right there. Uh, to me, it's under nudie. But maybe it's above True Religion, because True Religion has fallen off badly in uh, recent times. But, you know, so it's it's a mid-tier brand. The quality is okay. It's not superb. It's it's not nudie level. Uh, it has many cuts, like many different cuts that you can pick from. So once again, sorry for comparing it to nudies, but it doesn't have as much as nudies. Um... So that's just the one thing about it, you know, the, the quality is, it's all right. It's all right, but it's not anything to be superb, and it's not something I would recommend anybody paying for it, like, at its uh, retail value. If you get on sale, then maybe. One thing I like about the aesthetic of the jeans is on most pair of the G-Stores, they have really deep back pockets, and I don't know about anybody else, but I make a lot of use of my back pockets, so... That's very helpful to me. You see on this pair, they had a kind of uh, awkward design with the legs being twist. It's the first time I ever experienced something like that. This is a distressed pair right here. Um, you're going to see, I got all of these jeans. I don't wear them anymore, but I got all of them before I even started making videos. And this was part of the reasons why I started making videos because I was so confused with sizing. I'm a, a true 33 waist. And in these, I got a 36. And their 36 fit like a 34. But they still were baggy. Not in the waist, but like from the leg down. And I hate having to get everything tailored. Like there's certain things. Usually I'll get most of my jeans tailored. But only if, if I feel like it's necessary. But with these, every single pair was necessary to get tailored. And I couldn't find any information on sizing or anything. And that's what helped me uh, get into start making videos so I could try to help other people out. And we could create a dialogue here of information. Because all these vi videos are, um, pardon me, videos are to be educational. They're not to be like impress somebody or to show off. It's just to show the product, to understand the quality. Know what type of bang you're getting for your buck. That's the deep pockets that I was referring to. Know what type of bang you're getting for your buck. And um, just to know more about the brand. And if you have any questions before you purchase the Axe. That was the reason why. Apologies for the phone call. Uh, if you heard my phone vibrate. So, alright. G-Star in a whole. It's. I don't like their jeans, but they make some great t-shirts. I'll say that I have a lot of t-shirts and how I came across this is because most of the time, every so often, maybe every six months or whatever, they'll send me $15 codes and they have these $30 packs of shirts and it's like a, let me see, like a two pack or whatever. And every time they send me those codes, I'll just buy one pack for 15 bucks or whatever because the shirts is a great value. I like the way they fit and I use them for uh, layering purposes. If you noticed, if you when you've been watching the video, every different pair has had uh, a different aesthetic on it, like different tagging and branding. But the buttons, you know, have kind of been consistent and whatnot. This is actually a pretty. I, I like this pair. This right here. It's a dark wash. Has a lot of pockets in unique places that you normally wouldn't get, and the pockets are kind of like patchworked if you look at it. But it's pretty good. I don't know. I just can't. Like, St. Laurent and Beaumont has become 
my two favorite brands when it comes to jeans. I just, I never pictured, I, I didn't even picture that happening. Um, I was going to do some St. Laurent pickets. Oh, I got a ton of new stuff. Yeah, I got some stuff coming in. I got a surprise video also that I'm going to do. And I don't like doing these sorts of collection videos all at once. Because if you guys notice that I'm actually running out of things to talk about. And that's the reason why I don't want to do it. I still have a ton of Gucci sneakers that I've yet to review. I don't purchase Gucci anymore, but I still think that I'm going to power through them. Once again, just so they can be up on uh, YouTube. And in case somebody wants to buy them or in the same silhouette, they'll be aware of what they have to purchase. So tell me what you guys want to see from the channel. I have... um. Some more stuff coming. If there's any brands you guys want me to purchase from, just let me know. I'll do it. Make sure it's a high-end brand and not Jordans or anything like that. But make sure it's a high-end designer brand because that's really all I purchase when it comes to clothing. I'll purchase it. I'll put a review up on here if I like the item. And then I'll let people know. I'm trying to get some Hood by Air items. But I haven't really seen anything from them that I really liked. I was going to get their boots. Because it was on sale. But the soles are just so high. That I was just like nah I'm not. I don't. That's not my type of my type of style. So I put that down. Um, I'm going to get some Rick Owens pieces on here. Because I don't think I've ever done a review for Rick Owens. So I'm going to get that. I purchased something from Versace. It's an accessory. Oh. Before I forget. Let me just get it. Talk about this right here. This wax denim. The black one that you see currently on screen. It is the worst. The worst wax denim I've ever dealt with. I would not recommend anyone to buy this. I wore it twice. And I'll never wear this thing again. If someone wants to purchase it. Then let me know. And I'll give it to you for the cheap. Because I'll just. I will never mess with that thing. Ever again. Under any circumstances. Yeah but um. Sales are still going on. Essence still got to sell 50% off. In the upcoming days, it may go up to more. Um, Barney's still sells still there. Uh, Margella. Margella sale is still there. I'm sorry for not upgrade, um, updating you guys, but Margella had a private sale. And I was busy, so I couldn't get to do a video and get the link up. I apologize, but Margella is having a sale. Um, most of the websites on, on there are having a sale. So if you just check them. You may be able to grab things, and that will be the smartest thing that you could possibly do. Oh, you see the A on the background for this. Let me give you guys a little educational piece. That's because that's the type of um, uh, fit that it is. If you notice on the tag, there's like it's like A crotch or something like that. To my if memory, uh, holds true. So that's the reason why that's like down the back. Yeah, you can see it right there. But G Star is a good brand for some people, but I'm shaped funny and it's just not a good brand for me. But I'll wear these things if uh, it rains or whatever, like I do with True Religion, because it's just whatever. But it's been your boy Sully. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry for the commentary. I'm not good at making long videos. But follow me on Instagram, drop a like, and I'll catch you guys later. Hope you enjoy your holidays. Peace.